or good afternoon dear friends I'm sending this message um, from from Ukraine today's Ash Wednesday even though sometimes I already don't know what is the day today uh, for me it started 24th of, of February and still it is, has not finished and day night it is like one whole day and one whole nightmare actually uh, my name is sister Tatiana I'm member of Holy Spirit missionary sisters we are working here in Ukraine and now I'm currently in one of uh, the one village where, where is one of our communities and uh, uh, I would like to tell you how also people uh, in the villages live this situation because mostly um, media is showing us big city that is terribly destroyed. That is very, very, very painful for us seeing our beautiful cities damaged, but uh, the most painful that uh, people are dying, that children are dying that kindergartens are attacked when there is small, that children are, mothers are giving birth to children underground in metro. metro. It, is, it is so, these images, uh, sometimes they are overwhelming really, and uh, sometimes I cry, sometimes I already don't have tears to cry because it is very painful and also inside there is a question why why we we are bombed because we we love our country we love our language we love our um, we want to make our free choice we want to be free nations this is our whole history that we want to be free and somebody came, comes and take our freedom uh, we already live so many years under a communistic regime and we don't want it anymore the regime of Putin no more the aggression from Russia no more and uh, even knowing I have some contact with some people in Russia that are they are not agree with what is happening in Ukraine uh, they are asking sorry, but they are really afraid to to express because they have no freedom to, to tell what they really think. They have to think all the same as Putin does. So when anybody thinks differently, they are bombed. And this is what we are experiencing now. Um, anyway, uh, in spite of this, we we want to show so that among the ashes there is a, there is a light we still continue to f to fight but not only with uh, arms uh, with uh, weapons but um, we fight also this uh, spiritual fight uh, we, we pray a lot and i know my friends that you also pray a lot uh, also today is this day of fasting and prayer and this is our power this is our strength together united in prayer uh, that uh, in this way we can win uh, the evil that is spreading not only here but in all of the world the evil of of war of destruction of anger of uh, taking power by all means this is this is not human at all this is not the all human rights all international laws are are, are just broken just broken and um, so i really ask you all that we can together stop the putin's aggression on ukraine uh, we we have our problems of course we have our difficulties we had yeah but let us decide by ourselves how to do what what is and call our us as a nazist as a, because because just we, we love our 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 country 
is it Nazist or it is uh, we're still learning how to be patriotic because uh, 70 years of communistic regime has taken from us these patriotic feelings that we are proud to be Ukrainians and now we are as as never before we are proud to be Ukrainians to be born in this country um, so our community some of the sisters stayed uh, and here in the villages we also try to uh, somehow organize uh, and help people also even our presence uh, count a lot because they come and s and say sister thank you that uh, you are with us and for me it is a big conviction I have to be there maybe I cannot do much but I want to listen to these people I want to be there in their pain even though it is our common pain today and um, yeah we, we try to gather also children in our convent and we can uh, show them some um, animation they can draw or they can play but they can feel secure this security that was has taken from them this basic security uh, to show that uh, they are our hope they will continue to live they they should live they must live yeah and uh, also going to people who are lonely, who are um, aged, who are really uh, so distressed with this situation because they already lived and some of them remember this, the Second World War and now for them living another war, they said, I would never think that I will live it again. And also, I already heard from some people that said that, uh, that um, because of, of COVID, some has died. And some of my friends, uh, for example, her mother died because of COVID. And she said she was very in big pain and suffering, grieving that her mother has died. And now she said that it is good that she has died because she's not seeing all this horror of this war. Imagine. So, uh, yeah, but we now starting length, length and period, we strongly believe that the death, the evil has no, the last word, the last word is for God, for his mercy, for his love. And this is also our prayer now, that we will be not overcome with, uh, with hatredness, with, uh, that we will be not div divided among us also. It is challenging now maybe also to love our enemies and I personally ask God to help me to love, help me not to become similar to those who are killing us, help me to forgive help me to yeah, to help those in need and uh, show that this God's merciful uh, face because he is with us this I really believe he is with us he's showing his miracles even in this in this so difficult time so uh, we wait for resurrection as a feast that this will come but we also wait for resurrection of our country that we will rise we will rise and it will be God who will rise us but of course with, with your support also with your precious prayers with your standing for the truth for the good for the human rights for the, for the life not death thank you so much send you again a lot of greetings and please continue to pray be united in prayer thank you